Coming up on Season 25, Episode 1 of Web TV. An interview with visiting artist Gareth Fuller. We find out if you know what this is. Highlights from some of the offerings available for ASA 2. And of course, our weekly reminders. Hi, I'm Noah. I'm Remy. And I'm Will. On behalf of the Web TV crew, we hope you had a wonderful winter break. Last season, to celebrate Web's 25th birthday, we took you on a journey through Web early days. From its opening at the old factory to moving into this wonderful building we are in today. That's right, Will. We begin season 25 of Web TV with the year 2002. In 2002, the ECC opened for our nursery and pre-K students. Cool. Well, it looks a lot different now. Yeah, they also had lots of visiting Chinese artists come to open the building. WAB has a long history of visiting experts coming to share their expertise with WAB students. Before the winter break, Gareth Fuller spent a week working with Gray Fours. Web TV was lucky enough to sit down to chat with him. Hi guys, I'm here with uh, the fantastic artist Gareth Fuller. Uh, Mr. Gareth, can you tell us a bit more about the project that you're working with the Great Force? So I've been working with all of the classes in Great Floor. Um, we've been exploring the school, gathering stories, coming back to the studio and then drawing pictures about our experiences so we can understand place and stories that belong in places. It's been really fun. Why do you like to draw? I really enjoy drawing so that I can capture a sense of a place and I can create a commentary on culture. And the actual process of drawing I find quite therapeutic as well. Yeah, it's very relaxing and meditative. How long have you lived in Beijing? So I've been living here almost three years now and my favourite place in Beijing, well oh, it's very very difficult. Um, but I think I really enjoy getting lost in the hutongs. Um, there's so many great places in the city, but one of the best experiences is to get completely lost and, and find yourself in another coffee shop, um, relaxing with friends. Yeah, the hutongs are an incredible place. What do you think is your next project? So my next project will probably be another mega city in China. But I'm also very interested in drawing about places that have been forgotten or we don't pay enough attention to. So I'm particularly interested in the relationship between urban spaces and rural spaces in the natural environment. We've heard about your urban explorings. Uh, could you tell us a bit about it? So very often when I'm out looking at different places, I'll end up exploring what I would like maybe describe dead spaces or places that aren't relevant. And they always contain stories. So maybe I will find uh, an old hotel um, that's closed down and maybe I'll go and have a little look around and see if I can walk inside the car park and maybe I can look at the in one of the bottoms of the buildings um, which is quite exciting because all of these big projects have stories and those stories might be secrets or facts or temptation or desire um, maybe there was a, a passionate idea behind that project and it failed and this is interesting when you're looking around uh, an empty space, a derelict space Thanks for joining us in Web TV today, Gareth Fuller. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you all. Keep an eye out for the projects that of Gareth Fuller and Grade 4 Kids made, which is right here. Back in 2002, Web replaced the old pumpkin patch computer with these old funky looking iMacs. You can check them on the display in the library. The iPod was also released in 2002. It changed the way people bought and listened to music forever. That's right, Noah. For the first time, people could carry all of their music in their pocket. This second edition iPod could hold up to 10,000 songs. That's not much. There are millions of songs on my mom's phone. I know that might not seem a lot by today's standards, but remember, before the iPod, everyone listened to music on CDs. Each one of these discs could only hold 20 songs. Well, let's see how many of you knew what this revolutionary device was.
What's that? I don't know. I think it's a phone or something. I don't it, know. It looks like a TV remote. Yeah. But it has a giant place to charge. Yeah. Let's, Let's go, go ask, ask the, the kids, kids at WAB what, what they think of this. Hi, you're on WAB TV. What do you think this is? I think it's something that you use to listen to music. It's an iPod, I think. I'm not sure. I think so, but it was for music in the old days. I think this is iPhone. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I've seen it. This was like my very first iPod. Where did you get it from? Uh, we just found it. So we just found it somewhere in the store. But I have mine at home, so someone else has my the same, like when I first bought the iPod when they first came out. Yeah, I still have one of them. Well, my mom does, anyway. It's pretty cool. It plays lots of music. I think it's some I think it's some kind of remote control for playing the TV. What do you think this is? I think this is um um a old phone. When do you think it was made? Um nineteen ninety eight. Maybe hmm, in an, maybe in the nineteen hundreds. When do you think this was made? Twenty nineteen. This is what they look like. Haven't seen it for eight. Do you think this is cool? Yeah. Would you pay for it? No. ASA 2 started last week with a wide range of activities on offer. Web TV paid some of them a visit. Which one do you think takes the cake, Noah? Um, let me think. Baking in the learning kitchen? Nice one. See what you did there. Although, the winter soccer seemed to be on the ball. I bet it was. And the fencing seemed to be really on point, too. Okay, that's it. Just roll the tape. Today we'll be asking people how they think about the air save. bringing stories to life and being able to be really creative. Do you like this ASA and why? Uh, I like this ASA because it's, it's just kind of creating a story, right? Do you like your story? Yes! Every my student is super student. This is the end of the segment. Back to the studio. Now it's time for this week's reminder. Grade 5 Olympic Dream Series Handball is on at lunchtime this week. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Noah. I'm Remy. And I'm Will. And you've just watched Season 25, Episode 1 of Web TV. That was pretty good. We're not the